Hey everyone, Alex from O'Brien here. When creating a restoration that will tie multiple implants together, it's important to verify the positional accuracy of the implant replicas in our master cast. And the way we do this is with a verification jig. Unfortunately, verification jigs can provide false information if they aren't used correctly. In this video, I'm going to show you the steps to go through to ensure that you're getting an accurate result from your verification jig. And we make the jig by attaching non-engaging components to each implant replica and then tying them together using an acrylic material. And there are two important things to understand about acrylic. First is that it shrinks. And this is why you'll notice two different materials in the jig. It's the result of our efforts to compensate for the shrinkage. After we've created the initial jig, we allow it to sit so that it has time to shrink. We then section the jig between each component and join them back together with resin. The second thing to know about acrylic is that despite its rigidness, it does have some flex to it. And really, this is the most important piece of information because it's the reason a verification jig can give a false reading of accuracy. So how do you avoid that? Well, it's actually pretty straightforward. When seating the jig to the implants, you'll always use just one screw. Securing the jig with multiple screws at the same time is what can cause the acrylic to flex. And sometimes the discrepancy is small enough that you don't see or feel the flex as you're securing the screws. When the jig is secured with one screw, you can then check to see if the jig is seated on the other implants. If multi-unit abutments have already been attached to the implants, you may be able to do this just by sight if those abutment margins are at or above tissue level. If those abutments are subgingival or you're seating the jig directly to the implants, you'll most likely need to take a radiograph to verify that it's seated. If the jig passes verification, you would then remove the screw and repeat the process with the next implant. You'll continue to do this until it's been repeated on every implant. If the jig does not pass verification, meaning when you have it screwed down to one implant, it does not completely seat to one or more of the other implants, you'll need to modify the jig. You'll start by completely removing the jig from the mouth, and then you'll section the jig between each implant component. And you can make your cuts in the same areas that we had previously sectioned the jig. Use screws to attach each section to the implants, making sure that the pieces are aligned to each other in the same way as before they were cut. Next, you can use a flowable composite or similar material to join those pieces back together. Now you can grab the custom tray you would use to take the original impression and take a new impression over that verification jig. If your original impression was closed tray, you'll need to cut holes in the tray before taking the impression so that the screws can be accessed and removed before pulling the tray. At this point, you can send the new impression back to the lab, or if the jig had passed verification with no issues, you'll return that to the lab. I hope you found this video helpful, and as always, feel free to contact us with any questions. See you next time.